Hi, I'm David Cochran. No, 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 I haven't gotten Hollywood. These are 3D glasses, and if you've been to one of the big 3D blockbusters this year, Avatar currently, or Up from Pixar, then you know about these. If you've seen them in 3D, they've been big hits in the format. What Hollywood is wondering in the TV industry is, when does it come to home viewers? Now, not that it hasn't been tried. You've gotten those terrible little flimsy glasses out of cereal boxes, and at the 7-Eleven, they've tried little experiments on television. They've looked terrible on the side. They give you eye strain, maybe a little bit of nauseousness, and so forth. Has technology finally caught up to the point where 3D can be real at home? There's some, there's some signs that it maybe has. They've finally settled on a Blu-ray format for 3D. There's content coming. One of the cable service, excuse me, satellite services in Europe, Sky TV, says they're going to start a channel. Now, to really get this, you're going to have to have a specially enabled 3D TV. And if you watch Movie Dish, you're going to have to have a specially enabled 3D Blu-ray player. Now, don't go run out and buy them now. They're not available. During the first week of January at the Consumer Electronics Show, several of the big names in consumer electronics and TVs and so forth are expected to announce those products will finally be available. But, you know, watching a movie in a theater is a lot different from watching at home. At the theater, you're sitting there in the chair, you're 100% focused on the screen, you're probably hopefully not talking to the person next to you. At home, you're getting up to make a sandwich, the phone is ringing, you're texting, maybe there's some kids around and so forth. It's a whole different environment and everyone who's watching a 3D show on TV is going to have to be wearing one of these glasses. So that, that's even the kids. So no one knows yet what the, this will work. Maybe it'll go the way of quadraphonic sound and that, you know, that, that means nowhere. But maybe you'll all be seeing television eventually with a lot more depth and we're not talking about the programming, we're talking about the way it looks.